So in a world where people can't agree on anything, we're going to talk about some more controversial topics in archery and this being speed versus mass for your arrow build in deer hunting. So in your archery setup, do you prefer having a light and fast arrow or a heavy and slow arrow or somewhere in between? I'm somewhere in between, but I've always prioritized mass because of my bow setup. I mean, I got a not normal wingspan for a six foot one guy. So a 30 or 30 half inch draw. I've always shot, you know, at least 70 pounds. I mean, even going back to the very first bow that I bought that had wheels on it, it was 60, 60 couple pounds at 16 or 17 years old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My dad said, if you can't draw that, you don't need to be, <laughs> which is not the right, <laughs> not the right thing to say to, to, to a kid. But in, in any regard, I've always um, shot a heavier draw, draw weight with a really long draw. So speed has never been a problem for me per se. So I've always kind of focused on momentum through mass. I mean, when you start looking at uh, kinetic energy and momentum, momentum favors mass and kinetic energy favors velocity based on the equations. However, I've never gone like completely berserk into like a 700 grain arrow because I think in my mind, 550 with my setup, it, like it gets me enough momentum to, to, to hunt anything in the world, pretty much. I mean, I'm not going to Africa, so anything in North America, like I don't have a problem with that setup. But I think to your point about people, you know, not being able to agree on anything, saying, oh, you're wrong because you shoot a 700 grain arrow, or you're wrong because you shoot a, a 380 grain arrow. Like, listen, like it's number one, it's not, you know, that other person's setup is not your setup. So it really doesn't matter. There's no right or, right or wrong here. But I think the ultimate thing is finding. A, a mass or a, a weight that gives you the trajectory that you're happy with. Like, cause your setup is going to be a lot different than my setup. Yeah. So I've always been around that 550 grain total, total mass on an arrow, usually somewhere between uh, like 11 and 13% FOC. And I've dialed it back a little bit this year, even with the setup that I'm shooting for this year, I've gone actually about 85 to hundred grains lighter. The build's not completely done. I'm toying with some stuff. But that's based on some of the things that we've been doing with arrows on the front end and the back end. And you're dropping weight. And I'm dropping weight. So last year my setup was 80 pounds, 90% let off bow. Had a hell of a time finding an arrow that could handle the power stroke of that bow. I was underspined and I made something work, but wasn't super, super happy with it. Blame the arrows, but really it's the power stroke of the bow that's causing the issue. So I'm dialing that back. Also dialing back my weight just a little bit. So what, um, yeah, everything's circumstantial here or something that's heavy for me might not be heavy for you. Right. So keep that in mind with all this, but really quickly, what does speed do for your arrow? And then what does mass do for your arrow? To me, like that all focuses or comes back to momentum because momentum is going to give you penetration. We're all after a perfectly placed shot going through an animal. The goal is two holes. A hundred percent. The goal is two holes. Yeah. I like that. I might have to tag that somewhere. The goal is two holes, and that comes from well-placed shot, sharp broadhead, and momentum. Like, and that's the reality of it. So when I start thinking about mass, what that does for my arrow, it's it's beneficial in momentum more than it is kinetic energy, which again, momentum equals penetration. But when you start looking at speed, everybody's worried about the FOC thing and these these heavy builds. Like that is the trend. When you start sacrificing speed, all of a sudden now you're your bow's not going to be quite as efficient. Do you have this bigger gap between pins, which if you're going west or if you're not a great judge of yardage like myself, mm. you can very easily cause yourself a world of problems because you have so much speed deprivation or velocity deprivation because you're focused on mass. And that's where, going back to my point, you have to be okay with the trajectory based around your mass. Yep. If you're not happy with your arrow flight or the path of flight, then there's only so much you can do. Right. I have similar thoughts and there's some, there's like been two opposite spectrums that I've been on recently. So talking to some people, they tell you speed just makes you miss faster because they like slow and accurate penetrating arrows. Speed also makes you hit quicker too. And it, it can be the difference between maybe a deer jumping the string or not. Could be. So, there is some benefit to having speed. There's some benefit to having mass. I like to fall somewhere in the middle as well. And I have also dropped about 100 grains the last from year to year. So last year I was at 550. This year I'm somewhere between 430. 
so 120 grains, mm-hmm. dropping point weight, and I'm dropping uh, GPI. So I don't know exactly if this is going to be the right thing or not. Like I said, in a world where people can't agree on something, I'm going to have to figure it out for myself. Yeah. So well, one of the thing I think when you start talking about speed, you know, everybody's focused on feet per second, 270 FPS, 290 FPS, 300 FPS. You know, when we're judging distances and shooting at whitetails, we're, we everyone talks in yardage, yeah. right? Just keep this in mind. If you're on the fence on whether or not you need to be focused on mass or speed and you're wondering about your flight trajectory, like the point of aim, point of impact stuff, shooting one pin without changing your yardage, I mean, that will help you somewhat. But when you start converting 270 feet per second or 300 feet per second into yardage and then look at the math, okay, well, how long is it taking that arrow to go an extra 10 yards? Well, if you're shooting 300 feet per second versus 270, like that's that's a, a whole second to yeah. go 10 yards. That's important. Yeah, it's super important. And you don't realize that distance or that time frame until you justify it in yardage. A lot can happen in one second. And 10 yards is, I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, I've never, I've never personally made that uh, thought there. Mm-hmm. I've never been like, oh, well, what's this in yardage? I'm almost like three, like you said, focused on that feet per second number, focused on that feet per second number at launch, not necessarily downrange. So that's another, another yes. thing to add in there with your speed. If you shoot your bow at 300 feet per second, when it leaves your bow, you're losing 30 some percent at 40 yards. Correct. So you're not shooting 300 feet per second at that point. So maybe you might be shooting 270 at that point. And a lot a lot of stuff can happen in that window. Yeah. So you got to have a happy medium, and that happy medium is going to be different for you guys listening than it is for Chad than it is for me. So in a, in a world where no one can agree on anything, <laughs> we're probably not going to agree on this either. Probably not. <laughs>